July 13th, 2023. I am going back to the hotel to pick up Daddy Pad Dog's uh, laptop. He's going to hang out with the children for a bit. Life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then... throwbacks z96 7 smoothie king asks you know i saw something where it's called like it was an article about like sleep divorce and how people are sleep divorcing their spouse and i thought it was really interesting because like husband cat and i have his and her houses because like patterson is a backup plan but it's also just like i don't know it's my space and um i thought the I thought the article was interesting because I don't think a lot of people remember that like a long long time ago it used to be that like you had separate beds or you even like if you were wealthy you had like separate rooms and that way you could like spend time together and then come back and see each other and then like have you know the other person spend the night with you or you spend the night with the other person and like I think it's funny that like we're now calling it a sleep divorce because like Husband Cat and I don't spend tons and tons and tons of time together, but when we spend time together, we make it count because we do have so much time away from each other. So, I mean, that's kind of one of those history repeating itself things where it's like maybe, just maybe, like our rates of divorce wouldn't be so high if we like had our own space. I mean, some families do it where like the dad takes over the garage, or like the mom takes over the kitchen or the me takes over the office or the O takes over, you know, I don't know, the, the sitting room or something. Like there's different spaces for different people. And like maybe we should start doing that kind of thing where it's like, you know, everyone has their own little space and then when they want to see somebody else, they can come and see them or other people can come and see them. And like maybe the world would just be a lot better and nicer if we could just like, have time away from each other and not be like shoved up each other's butts all the time. Just a thought. One, two, three. Optima Tax Relief. Giants cat and kitten food too. Oh no. What now? Got an oh no that
shake it i'm gonna talk out loud for a minute so like sometimes when you hear music like that previous song that was just on um it makes it sound like you know you're going to like not be here and like even if you're not here you're still here you're here in like the hearts of people and the memories of people and stuff and so it's like i kind of have a philosophy where either you're going to gain a negative or a positive from your experience here on you know this existence in this existence and it's either going to be a positive one or a negative one so you have to choose if you're going to be a positive or a negative experience for people because they're going to make an assumption and they're going to choose if you're a positive or a negative negative. and for me I would much rather be a positive than a negative on human existence so that's just my whole thing um, also just because like I'm a special special kind of person in the event that something ever does happen to me, I've made it loud and proud and I've said it like lots where it's like, you need to just like, let me be as long as I absolutely can, as long as it doesn't create a substantial financial hardship for my family and my friends. Um, where like, if there's ever a moment that like I'm in a coma or something is going on, like just leave me alone. Like do what you have to do to keep me alive. I, I'm all about like, not having a DNR thing. I know that that's a controversial thing, but if there is a way for me to stay alive, I will stay alive. I will always choose life because I have babies that need their mommy. And so I intend and fully expect and intend to stay alive as long as I possibly can. And if modern medicine will help me with that, then modern medicine will help me with that. But it's like, you know, I'll get to a point where I recognize, okay, I require assistance and I need to just be hooked up to some machines and like I, my body just needs a little bit of help, but never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever pull the plug on me. That's just it. And I also don't want to be cremated because I just, I don't think that that's a good concept. Wake you up in the middle of the night and take you to another world. You'll wake up in the morning feeling like another girl.
soon. Also, just randomly, like, <clears throat> do you see like flashers and floaters? Maybe you need to like caffeinate or, you know, use another stimulant uh, in your life to like help you out with that. Because um, maybe that's your body trying to let you know on something because right now it's hot, it's humid, and I'm having to substantially increase my uh, caffeine intake and my other stuff intake. Just, just as a heads up. Like maybe I'm a cuckoo bird. You never know. Streaming the people station. wondering like why mr toyota tacoma there is like still chilling and then like why mr texas colorado is just like these guys haven't gone anywhere like what's the deal like i mean and there's like another version of a husband cat over there but like he's newer um and then like 
Joey in a different color is over there. And like, there's the ram. I don't know. You know, just a cuckoo bird. Just a cuckoo bird. You know, playing little cat games. What ups?